So well, good morning everyone. Again, I'm back with some tricks. So now in this video, we will going to see how to prove that a minus b the whole square is equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square. Uh, already we had seen in the previous video the derivation for a plus b the whole square. The link I had given in the description. If you want to see, you can go and check out. So let's begin with the derivation of a minus b the whole square. So let's check a length as a, where a and b is a constant. We can say. So let's check a length from here to here as a. Now exactly we want a minus b the whole square. So we will draw a square with respect to side a. So can I say the distance from here to here it will be a only. So area of square will be side square. So here side is a. So can I say this a square? So now next, what exactly I will do? Let's take a distance from here to here as b. Distance from here to here as b. So can I say distance from here? To here, it will be a minus b. That is common sense. So let's check an example. Suppose distance from here to here is 10, and the distance is 3. This is 10, and this is 3. So what will be the remaining length? So can I say this 10 minus 3, which is 7? So the same concept I'm applying here. This distance a and this is b. So can I say the distance is a minus b? So let's move on. Let's check here also. This is from here to here as b. So can I say the distance from here to here? It will be a minus b. Got the idea? Let's join this section and then here also. So again, can I say if this section is b, so this section will be b, and distance from here to here is a. As we know that side is a, so distance from here to here it will be a minus b. Yes, sir. So let's begin. As we know that this first box is in the form of what? Can I say it is in the form of square because here the adjacent side it is same. So what is area of square? Area of square can I say is side square. So we have the side here is a minus b. Side square means a minus b the whole square. So here I will write a minus b the whole square. Focus on the second box. The second box here it is b. Here it is b. Okay, and distance from here to here is what a. So can I say here the adjacent side it is different? So when the adjacent side is different, so the quadrilateral is a rectangle. So here we will apply the formula of area of rectangle. So what is the area of rectangle? It is length into breadth. So length into breadth can I say it is a b? Focus on the third box. Here the side is b and here it is a minus b. Common sense. Here the adjacent side is different, so it is a rectangle. So what is the length? Uh, what is the area of rectangle? It is length into breadth. So length into breadth. So can I say it is b into a minus b? Yeah, a minus b into b. We can write. Yes, sir. Now let's see the final step. If you want to find the area of this square, area of square. So can I say if you want to find the area of square inside we have three box one two three so if you want to find the area of complete square it will be equal to what this area one plus area two plus area three yes sir if you want to find the area of this complete box inside we have three more boxes one two three 
So area of this complete square x square will be equals to what? A1 plus A2 plus A3. To combine, you will get a complete square. So area of square with the side A. So area of square is what? Side square. Side square, that is A square. A1. Area 1, it is in the form of square with the side A minus B. So we got the answer that is A minus B the whole square. Area 2. It is a form of rectangle, length breadth. So that means area of rectangle is equal to length into breadth. So we have the answer that is AB. Third box, again it is in the form of rectangle with length and breadth as B and A minus B. So here we have the answer that is A, B, A minus B. But we have to prove that A minus B the whole square is equal to A square minus 2AB plus b square let's see this we can add as a square as it is keep this a minus b the whole square as it is this is a b bracket open bracket expand so you will get a b minus b square now further we can add as a square equals to a minus b the whole square a b plus a b we can add as 2 a b minus b square now we have to prove what a minus b the whole square so keep this a minus b the whole square there itself and shift plus 2ab and minus b square now shift minus b square on the left hand side so you will get a square minus 2ab plus b square hence it is proved i hope so you got the idea how to derive a minus b the whole square by using some geometrical shape and the geometrical explanation. If you like the video, please like, share, comment, and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Till then, goodbye. See you in the next video.